I entered the internet's biggest render competition and somehow my work ended up in front of some of my biggest VFX heroes. Is that a bear? Big bear it time. It is a bear! Whoa. Boom! Dude, the background, it's like Elden Ring level. Yeah, Lewis. Killing it, Lewis. So, here's the breakdown of how I did it. I created a base model of a bear-like creature, and then using reference footage of a bear running, I animated it. Does it count as a vehicle? If we put a character on top, then I'm going to say yes. You can generate a complex rig for animals really easily using Rigify, which is built into Blender. From here, I could then sculpt this shape into a more detailed mesh. So the plan was to have a bear and a rider defending the outer walls of a giant city. I made the city by modeling archways, towers, and walls, and placing them around in the shape I'd blocked out. And yes, I am a Lord of the Rings fan, so Minas Tirith was a huge inspiration here. The key is to get a high quantity of random shapes that from a distance gives the illusion of detail and scale. You then just create a few rock and brick materials, doing quick UV unwraps on the main visible areas to make sure the positioning looks good. I could then add some dramatic lighting using multiple area lights on specific towers to create the illusion of sun coming through the clouds, as well as some point lights to create some fiery glows. This could then be rendered and I could take it into Photoshop to create a matte painting. I combined multiple images of mountains to build up the landscape and sky, matching the colour and lighting to blend with the city, and adding smoke and mist to create a sense of distance and scale. So, this was the matte painting ready to go. The city and mountains are so far in the distance the perspective doesn't really change, so I could create the background as a 2D plane. For the foreground, I sculpted some meshes for the terrain and a part of the mountain, and mixed together multiple rock and ground textures. I then populated the scene with assets from the Megascans library, creating instances for duplicated objects to keep the scene running smoothly. I modelled and textured a more detailed tower, adding an adapted mocap archer to stand in it. The scene was then scattered with rocks, grass and plants using geometry nodes and weight painting. I modelled some similar towers in the background to create a parallax effect, to show more movement and to emphasise the scale of the city behind it. Now for the character, I used the base mesh of a Mixamo character, changed their proportions, and sculpted some clothes and armour which I textured in the Substance Painter. I added new hair from another Mixamo character, and attached the mesh to a more advanced rig to animate them. I created an initial looping animation of the rider and the bear as a base to build from. From here I could create variation by adding a more natural jump into the scene, adding an axe hit by the rider, and a headbutt by the bear that created a more natural looking acceleration out of the shot. I created some enemy soldiers by again adjusting and adding to Mixmo characters, and by adjusting some mocap animations I could create some strong looking impacts adding some rigid body simulations for some flying swords. I textured the bear with some face detail in Substance Painter, then laid on hair using particles and Blender's hair curve system. I modelled and textured some armour, before adding a cloth simulation on the back to get some overlapping action. I matched up the dramatic lighting of the background with directional lights from behind the characters, which I thought worked really well on the fur. I finally added smoke details by painting clouds and smoke in Photoshop, then putting the images on planes across the background and between the buildings. These are great as you can render them really quickly in Eevee and layer them on on top in compositing. For the closer smoke, I converted some random displaced meshes to a volume and added an animated noise texture. Finally, I added floating particles by emitting random mesh shapes from a plane that was parented to the camera. And now I could render out the different layers, composite them together, color grade, and we have our final scene. It's an absolute dream to have such amazing artists react to my work, and if you think I'm going to overplay their comments, then you're absolutely right. They have made me very happy, so I'll leave you on this. This is beautiful. That bear animation is amazing. Yeah, this is great. The light. It's hard to animate a bear like that. Come on, that's like I ridiculous. I love warrior bears. Come on. <laughs> that's freaking great. That's great.